So today in this video, I want to talk about what it means to be a man. If you've watched influencers like Andrew Tate, Elliot Hulse, and uh, Hamza, you're either inspired by these men or you're triggered by them. I think to be a man means to be strong and to embody the image of a leader and everything they represent. I think men serve three important purposes. One is to be strong in your mind and body. Two is to have established values and principles and three to focus on long-term wins as opposed to short-term pleasures so i believe all men should be working out and trying to improve their physique to their genetic limits i think this is important because you command respect among the people around you if you speak with confidence people tend to look up to you and respect you as a person and give you more opportunities in life. Also, as a man, when you work out, you're more attractive and you're more resilient from the process of training that it kind of prepares you more for all the obstacles and adversity that you're going to go through in life. Man must also train his mind because he must be intelligent in order to navigate his way through the world especially when there's a lot of deception, a lot of temptation, and a lot of vices that are easy to get into, but hard to come out of. A man should develop skills that are rare and valuable so that he may navigate his way through the world, find a career, a job, or a calling that he can do that will help serve the world and the greater good of humanity. He must also be personable to make the relationships with the right people so that he may utilize that as a resource to attain his goals. A man must have established values and principles so that he is always grounded in his actions. A man with these set of rules is more likely to stick to his goals because he always has something to fall back on. And I don't mean that in a way that he needs to have a cop out but more like he has a set of principles to abide by whenever he loses his way inevitably. A man should have morals, be mission driven, and lead by example. I think this paves the way for the future generation so that a man may leave his legacy in teaching all the things that he's learned to his sons, his daughters, and all the other people that come before him so that they may learn from his mistakes. And lastly, a man must put long-term success ahead of short-term pleasures. These short-term pleasures include things like instant gratification, like consuming junk food, scrolling endlessly through social media, playing too many video games, watching porn and masturbation. I think these vices really destroy a man's credibility detract him from his mission for serving the world. These pleasures serve him personally, maybe instantly in that moment, but they don't serve the greater good. And this is why I think a man should disengage from these activities and really focus on things that will shape him in a way that's more respectable and gives rise to more uh, better opportunities. So to sum this up, as a man myself, I want to be a role model for those that look up to me, especially the younger generation, become more resilient, more intelligent, more strategic about how they live their lives and be more deliberate about the decisions they're making. This might sound too rigid or too strict, but I think this is what makes life worth living is to be able to get enough of a challenge to move progress forward and live a life that you can be proud of, especially as a man. I think in society, without getting too political, men have become weak and effeminate. We've lost our power to really push forward and develop the way that we should be. If you derived any type of value from this video, I would encourage you to like and subscribe for more videos like this. My channel is dedicated to self-improvement and building upon ideas
that can benefit us in our lives, in our lifestyles. See you in the next video.